Okay, there are basically three exponential growth rate formulas. I've shown two of them here. And on the next board, you'll see how we determine the growth rate. Uh, I have a feeling that you're using this formula as your exponential growth. So the number of bacteria depends on, well, a is the initial value because when t is zero, b to the zero, which is we have yet to determine, will be one. One times a will give us the initial right uh, number of bacteria. So when t is zero, a equals ten. So we know the value of a. So we can go to here, and now we know a second set of conditions. After seven hours, there's 189 bacteria. So we can put 189 here and seven here and solve this for a little b. When we do that, we divide both sides by 10 then take the seven through to both sides or raise 189 over 10 to the one seventh power. And by the way, over here, if you use this form for exponential growth, you have to find the value of k, where a is also known to be 10. And you're using natural logarithms to isolate the k, or the, yeah, to isolate the k, which is has a value of ln of 189 over 10, all divided by 7. So on the next board, here's that first formula. Here's a table of values. Notice that when x is 0, number of bacteria is 10. When x is 7, the number of bacteria is 189. After 24 hours, that's how many bacteria there are, 237,925. Over here, I've used the second formula, where a little b is 189 over 10 raised to the 1 7th power, which has a value of 1.521779, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we get the same exact table values for both of these functions. But to identify the growth rate, we actually think of this 1.52177 as 1 plus 0.521779. And this portion right here is the growth rate. And if we convert that to a percentage, 52%. There you go. Hope that helped. If you have any questions, post a comment.